So are you ready? Are you ready to connect with the concepts? Conceptual connection 15.3 slash 16.3, depending on what edition you have. Probably should update my notes. The X is a small approximation. All right, so let's connect to the concepts. The initial concentrations and Ka's of several weak acids, ha, huh, solutions are listed here. For which of these is X small, X is small approximation least likely to work? So which one's probably not gonna work, all right? So we'll go through them, I'll give you a little bit of time, then we'll vote, we'll vote to see which one do we think is the least likely, okay? So we got initial, ha, huh, of 0.1, Ka times 10 negative, 1.0 times 10 negative fifth. One molar, 1.0 times 10 negative six. 0.01 molar, 1.0 times 10 negative three. 1.0, 1.5 times 10 negative third. All right, so how many people think A is the least likely to work? No one. How many think B is the least likely to work? B, going once, going twice, no one. C, how many people think C is the least likely to work? A few. How many think D is the least likely to work? Okay, a couple. Most people are looking for E. <laughs> All of the above. I don't know. Uh, so B, C, wait, which one? Yeah, C got the most, okay? Um, actually, most of you apparently are very tired and didn't want to raise your hand one foot. Uh, it's okay, it was a rough weekend, it looks like it. All right, so C was the uh, winner, and it is correct. Yeah, that's the least likely to work. Okay, so this concentration 1.0.01, the Ka is 1.0 uh, times 10 to negative third. If you think about it, uh, I, I always like, uh, you can put it into scientific notation to compare them. So this would be 1.0 times 10 to negative two. So 10 to negative two, 10 to negative third, that's only 10 times smaller. Okay, so that's like, it's a, it's a tenth, okay? So that's going up to Bill Gates, who's worth $80 billion, instead of taking 20 bucks, it's taking $8 billion. Okay, yeah, he's gonna care, all right? Actually, he'd probably give it away, he's such a nice guy. He's <laughs> such a good guy, all right? Uh, but no, that's, yeah, that's definitely too close, okay? Uh, some Ds and Ds would probably be second, okay? That's one, 10 to the negative third, but that's, you know, 10 to the fourth, uh, different. That's 10,000 times smaller. Okay, and so that's it. So what do I do? Okay, when I'm looking at these, if it's a thousand times smaller, 10 to the third smaller, definitely do an X to small approximation. Not even looking back. I'm I'm a rebel. I'm not even doing the percent error calculation. Okay, if it's a hundred times smaller, I'm gonna do it because I'm lazy and I don't want to do the quadratic formula. But I'm gonna have to check. That's probably gonna be close. Okay, so if it's at least a thousand times. That's my cutoff, okay? 10 times smaller, nah, it's probably not gonna work. I'll probably still do it and do the X, but I know it's not gonna come back, okay? All right, so let's circle that so we know. All right, so yeah, C is the least likely to work. Uh, Ka isn't, very, isn't much smaller, and nope. Smaller. Then the initial concentration. Isn't. Question? Isn't. 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 So I can see it in your eyes how much uh, enjoyment you had connecting with the concepts. So let's try another. All right. Two conceptual connections in a row? Whoa. 15.4. Let's do it. All right, so which solution is the most acidic? That is, which one has the lowest pH? All right, so we got A, B, and C. So we got a 0 0.1 molar HCl solution, 0 0.1 molar HF solution, or 0 0.2 molar HF solution. I'll give you a few seconds to think about it, to connect with the concepts. All right, how many people think that uh, A would be the most acidic, that is, 
the one with the lowest pH. Okay, got a couple, three, four. How many think B, 0 0.1 molar HF? How many people think C? Okay, about the same A and B. And again, most people don't care, D. It's okay. My feelings aren't hurt. No. It's not my conceptual code. It's Tro. I should tell Tro. Nobody cares. No. All right, so uh, A and C were uh, the winners. About the same amount of hands goes up. So yeah, and first thought, okay, or first look, at first glance, point 0.2. Hey, point 0.2 is better, bigger than point 0.1. I mean, come on. All right, but there's, there, this is kind of like a tricky question. So someone who thought A was the most acidic, why, is, why would A be more acidic? It has the smaller bonds or the weaker bonds. Weaker bonds, so. Okay, so what would that mean about it? It's going to be a stronger acid, and in fact, it is a strong acid. It's a strong acid, okay? Not even just a stronger acid, it's a strong acid. So that means 100% ionization. And so, yeah, uh, the 0.1 molar HCl is going to be uh, a lot more acidic, a lot more p lower pH than the 0.2 molar HF because it is a strong acid. And that's why we, we, I wanted to talk about this, all right? So, do. So HCl is a strong acid, um, and so would have a much lower pH. Uh, so negative log of 0.1, that's what? So that's 10 to negative 1, so that's 1, pH 1. All right. Once uh, I went and actually looked and I calculated what the concentration of HF would have to be to be, have a pH of 1, and it was like off the charts. It was like something like 20 molar. I don't even know if HF is that soluble uh, in water, but it was, it, it was not, I mean, like that's how big of a difference is a strong acid is from a weak acid. Uh, that 100% ionization is a big deal.